Hello, welcome to a beautiful day in Wicklow. This is my first ever time at this river. So what I'm doing today is I have the Gold Manger 4000 set up, but instead of using two buckets, I have it set up over the banjo pan, which has dream mat in it. And I'll show you that in just a second. So this is the dream mat system here. Um, basically, your normal Gold Magic 4000, this is the yellow one that's usually at the bottom. It's a slightly higher nozzle, so easier to fit into that bucket. That's just a normal black bucket filled with rocks. And then that links in the banjo pan. I've got a decent angle, it's sitting just above the waterline, and it should work absolutely fine. So what I'll do is I'll leave you on this angle for a second and I'll just show you how this works in action. So very simple. All we'll do is just dig up material anywhere really. We're gonna test a wide area. No, not testing a specific spot. Because we've only started putting material into it, it's not yet at a point where there's any gravel going to be coming out of the banjo pan. So what I'll do is I'll put you in fast frame mode now, so you can see this process going through. Uh, also today, I'm not using an external microphone, I'm just using the mic from the camera. Let me know in the comments below if you can hear me correctly. So do let me know what you think. I'm always interested in what you hear, what you think, and uh, how we can improve things. So let's go into time-lapse mode and let's go find the shiny. <laughs> Okay, you discovered a slight problem there. See where this is the first time you've used this particular bucket with that particular classifier, and we have a little problem. See the height that the ridge comes up to the top of this uh, of this bucket. This is a good bit higher than the other Gold Magic 4000. So this classifier comes down. If you look, look at the height difference. I'm just about to sit there. So basically, the bottom of this classifier is sitting. The bottom of that classifier is sitting on the top ridge and that causes water not to be able to get out and that's a problem because this is the mechanism by which I classify material ah I'll figure it out it's part of the adventure isn't it? I'm out on a forest I'm so remote I will happily spin around I will happily do a full 360 from all angles because you'll never figure out what this is I can't even figure out which way it is back to the car to be honest such a uh, is it that way no Came in from over there. Uh, this is half the adventure of uh, prospecting. So I'm just going to do a quick clean out of the Dream Mass loose box there. You can see originally it was a one and a quarter inch um, pipe and this is a two inch pipe. So there's a lot more volume through plus the rocks are bigger. So I just want to give a quick clean out and see A are we on the gold and B is it catching anything at all. Okay so it is catching something. Now how good your lens is going to see close ups but yeah it is catching something. So let's do a quick clean out and see where we're at. So cleaning out the banjo pan is just like any other dream, it's really simple. First things first, I'll put the banjo pan in the water, give her a quick rinse out. And then next thing we'll do is we'll take out the mat itself. It's nice and snugly in there. Give this a quick rinse first. Might as well pan it now. That's fine. Oh, and try not to follow the shovel. So this is the area here that I'm working from. If there's no gold in this, then we're going to fill the hole back in anyway, so I may as well pan here. But that's not much at all, look. That's all the material we caught. Even though it's stream at Micromat, I would expect it to catch a little bit more than that. So let's have a look and see how we on the go. This might take me like 20 seconds to pan this. I won't even have to push it underwater. Just do a quick big backspin on this. Dip it a good bit of water. Bump to the side. Are we any gold? Absolutely nothing, no heavies, no nothing. I'm going to clean out that bucket and see if that's catching gold. And hey, if we're on the gold. And if we're not on the gold, then I'm going to go move on to a different spot. So big fat zero on that one, absolutely nothing. But I wanted to test out this equipment and I wanted to get a bulk assessment. If I just did one pan and one pan and one pan, but that little tiny pan over there, oh, take me a while. We've done a quick assessment. We found what is here and what isn't here. So there's the tailings left over from earlier on. I'm gonna fully fill them in. This is the hole I had. Hope you enjoyed today's quick video of sample panning with the Gold Magic 4000 and the Dream Mash. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, chances are you like the videos I've previously posted and the ones we post in the future. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and sure catch the next one. We can all go. Bye, more shiny. Bye bye.